All right, it's early in the morning. I've come down to turn on the heat in my studio so that by the time I get down here, it will be warm enough for me to work. And I got to rethinking the whole idea of what I'm going to do. I was going to have a war leader, a uh, war party leader, but I've decided to make it a sub-chief instead. And uh, I'm just trying out what a war bonnet would look like on him. Knowing that the wind is blowing from the front, so we blow the feathers to the back. And I just rolled out some clay to simulate a war bonnet. Let me get, I'll be right back. Time to play with some clay. Yes, I'm in my robe, because I'm still going to get some more sleep before I come down. <laughs> I was thinking about, you know, they were a terror with a bow, and uh, much more effective than with the guns of that time frame. I know that's kind of odd looking, but... Well, anyway, that's what I'm thinking. I'll come down and do a little more funkin' on it when I get here later on. It's what I'm thinking. <laughs> His uh, arrows to be in this quiver here. I don't know if he'd have a shield, at, at, you know, as well. But he could have a shield, but he would more likely have it hanging off uh, his waist. Or I'm not sure exactly how that would work. I've got photographs of a Native American model that posed for me. Uh, that's how they would have carried their shields while they're riding. Or they would have had them hanging off their back. Thus. What I'm trying to do is just get some kind of idea for what I'm going to do. And, uh, I, at, I don't have my glasses on, so I'm, everything's blurry right now. That's about the right length for the feathers. It'd be from here to there. I'm not going to sculpt every feather. I'm going to, uh, well, I don't know how I'm going to do it yet. All right. So when I come down here, oh, and I was thinking about, well, there is a buffalo skull. I did put a buffalo skull down here in the base. I, can you see that? No, you can't. Let me get my camera down here get my light situated. There's a buffalo skull here. You can see the uh, socket for the uh, eye. And I, all I have to do is basically put a 
horn in there. Just hidden in the grass, prairie grass. That's going to cost a lot of money. To, well, maybe not. Well, it'll add to the cost because they'd have to cut the arm off and uh, make a mold of the arm and the, the bow separate. But I think that'll work out okay. The uh, war bonnet, I'm, I'll make out of probably uh, monster clay, but I don't know yet. I'm just mulling over in my mind what I'm gonna do when I actually get down here to work on this clay. But uh, these are just these are not permanent additions, they're just something to give my blurry eyes kind of an idea of what I'm thinking of. I can't really see what I'm doing. But I'm kind of liking how the blur looks. All right, I'll be back. All right, it's a couple of days later. Um, Yesterday, I spent a lot of time uh, going through uh, my reference materials that I have. I've got literally thousands of uh, photographs. And uh, I was just trying to get uh, inspired or motivated, so to speak. And uh, what I've decided to do is rather make it a Comanche, I'm going to make it just a Plains Warrior. Um, that tribe, the Comanche, is going to take a lot more research on my part. Uh, because uh, I don't know a lot about them. Uh, except through the book that I've read, or I'm re listening to on uh, audio tape. Um, the uh, They were really a forced to deal with back then in the 1800s and uh, if I do something on them I want to be as authentic as I can but I'm just going to go ahead and start and see where I, it leads me and I guess that's the best way to do it let the inspiration build in my brain I'm not going to show you everything I do on creating this head uh, because I cover this in my instructional videos which you can find a link to a review of in the uh, video description below this video. I've uh, made the face just a little too long and so I gotta trim it back because you can get carried away with uh, a small face because it's very easy to do because you're wanting to do bigger but you're doing small I don't know if that explains well but so you tend to 
make it bigger than it's supposed to be. And uh, they also need to get the neck down just a little bit more. His neck was just a little too high. Ah, this head's just getting too big. And uh, I'm just not happy with her, what I'm doing. I think what I'm going to do is take a break today and come back tomorrow. I'm not uh, in it right now. And you can't force creativity, so I'm just not going to do that today. All right, I'll be back tomorrow, and uh, we'll see how this works out. If you like this video, please like and subscribe to my channel. It really would help me. Also, check out the link below this video. It will take you to a review of my nine instructional videos that could be very helpful to you if you're thinking of sculpting. Good night, everybody.